Nails Next Top Nail Artist Challenge 1, Secret Garden, 18th Century Romanticism, sponsored by CND. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you the first video diary for this season of NTNA and this is sponsored, this video, this challenge is sponsored by CND and the challenge is Secret Garden and we are not allowed to use any florals. So I first thought I'm like, I'm going to go metaphorical with this and so I'm thinking garden and the first thing I, first thing I think of when I think of garden is growth. So I based my challenge on self-growth and self-assessment. And I always say the first thing to self-assessment is to really address the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror and just kind of, you know, go down and see because everybody's got multiple personalities within them. And I decided to do my mirror in this design is clear. It's got a, like a chrome over clear so you can see through it. And it's one side is a very well dressed, very elegant 18th century romanticism style lady. And on the other side is a skeleton that's got some tattered material, broken necklace, but still has her nice little parasol. So I hope you guys like this design as much as I do. And don't forget to vote. I will put a link in the description box and when voting is open, please, 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 on Tuesday, go vote for me. I'd appreciate it more than you know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. So to begin with, I've got Sandy's Pure White and they're clear, and I'm mixing about two scoops of white with one scoop of clear. The clear doesn't, um, it's a little thinner, like the powder itself seems a little bit more fine, so I added just a touch more of that. That's to create my flesh tone. Then to create a tinted monomer, I have Sandy's Retention Plus monomer and a couple little drops of Flower Bed Folly. So I'm going to add a couple of those little, little drops in there, stir that up with a disposable toothpick get a nice really really pretty flesh tone tinted monomer. So then I'm going to take and I'm going to be making a little bit of armature for both my skeleton and for my lady. So I've got, I'm just going to show you the lady, I've got little wire, some foil, just kind of making a base for this. It makes it so that the sculpting is a little bit easier and you have something to sculpt on top of. So then using my combination of the clear and white powder with my tinted monomer, which I want to say thank you to Deanna, which is a little trick that I picked up when I was following along with the NTNA All-Stars. Um, I'm going to use that to make all of her skin tone. With white acrylic, I just sculpted out her hair. And then to make all of her clothes and all of the material I used throughout this whole design, I painted the different colors of the CND um, English Garden Collection on a piece of this plastic film, because then you can peel it off. So just paint the whole design of the skirt. I've got a really nice kind of repetitive pattern that goes around the bottom of the skirt. When you're done with that, you can peel it off, trim it up, make a couple little slots at the top so that it folds really nicely around her waist, and glue that all down. I also, as you can see, added a little bit of a bell sleeve on her arms. Fill in all of the rest of the bodice part of the dress with more of those wonderful C&D colors. Just use a, you know, a collection of all of the colors together to give it just a really nice, pretty pattern on the dress. I added a little bit of a sash around the waist, trimming those little bits into nice little strings for the dress. I made a bow out of gel polish as well, and then a little bit of trim around the top of the dress. Then again, using Flower Bed Folly, I added um, her hair color with that and when I did the hair color and all this painting on her face I used the vinyl lux and not shellac makes it so it keeps it a little thinner and doesn't add a poofiness to all of the sculpting I did I did the same process with the piece of plastic film and shellac and I made a little parasol for each my lady and my skeleton glued those in place used more of my little custom acrylic color mix I added her hands add some more details to her face and her fingernails I painted with the vinyl looks as well so that it had the same kind of color theme throughout and her nails matched her dress for my skeleton I did the same thing I sculpted everything on top of that wire with this time just with straight white acrylic and then on a straw I'm going to sculpt the rib cage so you're going to want to just kind of use really skinny little lines and then after you have that done pop it off the straw and glue it onto your spinal column and then I'm going to be attaching some more wire for the arms and the legs of my little skeleton lady and make sure that you try to keep this as mirror imaged as possible as far as the way her arms are placed so that the arm shape is a mirror image of the lady. So just really carefully bend all of the wire so that it really fits well. Add the parasol and some tattered material. And then using the vinyl looks colors, I'm gonna go over this one as well. And I use the same flower bed folly to do all of the shading on my skeleton so that it had a little bit of that flesh tone to kind of keep that whole mirror image thing alive and keep that going. So then I'm going to go through and I'm going to be sculpting a mirror out of clear acrylic and this is going to be a standing mirror and I've got a little bits of wire coming out the sides of the actual tilting portion of the mirror so that you can create those little hinges on the side. 
I applied the shellac top coat with a chrome powder over the one side of the mirror without applying a back black base that chrome is see-through so you can see through it. I then painted my mirror itself kind of a mahogany shade which is CND's Oxblood and then I used a more of that secret garden color to create some really nice little wood grain all around the sides of the mirror. Then I'm going to go through and sculpt the frame of the mirror and the little feet and the legs of the mirror, glue all of that together so that you have an actual standing mirror, add a little bit more acrylic to secure everything and apply some more of that CND Ox blood. This is a color I've had for a long time and it's always been one of my favorites. Then I'm going to be attaching those wires into little grooves on the stand of the mirror, adding some beads, securing those in place, and your mirror will now tilt. To create the actual nails of this design, which let's face it, the nails are kind of the whole thing, I applied two coats of the Flower Bed Folly once again, and I'm going to take some more of my Axe Blood and kind of create a little gradient around the edges. This is to create floorboards that my whole scene is placed on top of. Then going back to Axe Blood, I'm going to be just going through and painting some wood crane all throughout the whole design, just like so. And then using a lighter shade from the Secret Garden Collection, I'm going to be adding little highlights here and there to really make that wood grain stand out. Once again, applying the shellac top coat, make all those little wood boards shine like they've just been waxed. And then I'm going to be gluing all of my pieces together and on top of their little stands, adding a little bit of that tattered material next to my skeleton and a broken necklace. On the lady, I added a completed necklace so that she looks all put together and like she's ready for the day. But you never know what's going on in somebody's life, so... That's kind of the whole idea behind my design is that you never know what somebody's going through and maybe they look all put together but their life really feels very tattered to them. And so that's the idea. The mirror is see-through so you can look through it and see the other character from either side which I think is awesome. So please don't forget to vote every single vote you guys. It helps keep me in this competition and I appreciate that and then you'll see me next week. Bye!